Ready? One. You will do this four times. When did your love for cars and racing begin? Did it come from your dad? Oh, definitely. I, I just grew up in a car mad family and dad was involved in motorsport and driving. So right from a young age, cars was everything for me. So uh, yeah, I had billy carts and everything like that as a kid and then just grew up and the toys got bigger. Yeah. Um, you have raced with many well-known teams including Triple Eight, Dick Johnson and Dumbo. Do they have different ways about how they go in their racing? Or is it quite similar? Yeah, look, obviously each team's got their own philosophy and the way that they go about doing things from not only just a, a team organisation structure but from an engineering side and everything like that. Um, and, and same again, like this year I'll partner up with Garth Pander at Holden Racing Team and again it's just about learning sort of how each team goes about doing their own individual things and, and being able to adapt to that. Yeah. Now you won the Sandown 500 and finished third at Bathurst 1000 with Craig Lowndes in 2012. How did it feel standing on the podium at these iconic events? But it was amazing because, as I said, from a, from a kid growing up, it was always about cars and watching those great races and watching legends like Peter Brock and Dick Johnson. To then be a part of the event is an amazing feeling, but to certainly stand on the Bathurst podium was just a, it was a highlight of my career. You walk out there and there's like 10,000 people down there screaming and chanting and, yeah. and, to, and to be part of that team and to, and to do it two years in a row, because obviously we finished third there last year as well. It was, it was a great feeling and hopefully Garth and I can replicate that this year. Yeah. Um, would you prefer to be a full-time racer or a stunt driver? Well, I've kind of got the best of both worlds at the moment because yeah. I race full-time in the Australian Carrera Cup Championship. I still obviously do the endurance races and then uh, combine all that with the stunt driving here. So I, I think I've actually got probably the best of everything at the moment. I'm still yeah. sort of full-time racing, full-time stunts, not a lot of downtime in between, but I'm certainly living the dream. Yeah. Um, what has been the highlight of your career? Oh, look, there's been so many different things um, from different races that I've done around the world to different cars. But look, obviously, to, to stand on the Bathurst podium the last two years with Craig was certainly, for me, I suppose it was that childhood dream coming true to, to actually, first of all, to race at Bathurst, but then to actually have some success there and be on the podium. Um, and as, as I said, hopefully, Garth and I can maybe go a couple of steps better this year and claim the top one. Yeah. Um, you have to say fit while racing, so what do you do to stay fit? Like, do you have any routines? Yeah, look, I, I, do, I do a lot of cycling and running, a um, bit of kayaking, but just basically, one of those things, just got to try and do something every day. Yeah. So it's, um, it, it is a really important part of what we do, um, but our fitness is more endurance based, so it's not about sort of being uh, incredibly incredibly strong or anything like that, it's because yeah. you're up to, in the car for up to two, two and a half hours at the time. And in the race, in those long races, it's more about the heat in the car. Like at the Gold Coast 600, you're talking sort of 60, 65 degree cabin temperature. So yeah. it's it's your mental endurance that's it's really important as well. Yeah. Um, is Travis your favourite co-worker? <laughs> Definitely my favourite co-worker. No, look, look, Travis has been great to work with. We've been part of the original HSD show we were here for sort of five years together and now we've, we've come across into this new show. And um, Yeah, look, Travis has been great to work with. He's, he's taught me a lot about drifting and everything like that. So, and obviously he's had great success in his drifting career and everything like that. So it's good, in anything I do, it's good to work with other professionals and be able to sort of take from what they do and be able to learn from them. Yeah, of course. Now, how long does it take to do your hair? <laughs> it takes longer than Travis to do his hair, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so I have some quick fire questions. Sure. Ready? Okay, boxes or jocks? Jocks. Ford or Holden? Holden. Ice cream or ice box? Ice cream. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Apple or Samsung? Uh, Apple. KFC or Red Rooster? KFC. Batman or Superman? Batman. Math or English? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Pen or pencil? Uh, pencil. Pop or rock? Rock. Alright, thank you very much for doing this interview with me. Stay tuned, I have an interview with David Mead from the, the Gold Coast Titans next week. Play fair, play hard and have fun.